Today's lesson is on the additive inverse and the absolute value. And that's standard NS 7.1b. It says understand P plus Q as the number located as a distance, the absolute value of Q from P in the positive or the negative direction, depending on whether Q is positive or negative. Show that a number and its opposite have a sum of zero, and that means that they are additive inverses, and interpret sums of rational numbers by describing real-world contexts. You should already have your learning goal written out into your interactive notebook from the end of class, in addition to the title and the date as well. Um, as we progress, the notes on your integers should have been um, secured to your notebook all the way to the left-hand side so that we are able to fill up this area um, as well with some notes. So this is the image of my interactive piece. Um, opened up, unfolded, so that I can write inside of it and continue to take my notes. First of all, we're going to start with the further you travel to the blank, the larger the value. In this area right here. Um, well, the further you travel to the right on your number line, the larger your value. And that should make sense because when you look at the number lines on your notes from opposite numbers, you can see the numbers get bigger as they go to the right. In that case, the further you travel to the left, the smaller the numbers get. The starting point for your number line is always zero, right? We've talked about that yesterday. These definitions um, that we're discussing are of whole numbers and their opposites. So you might just want to fill that into the top of your page. Opposite is also a word for the additive inverse or the absolute value. There's a little difference between those few things, okay? Um, positive numbers are always larger than negative numbers. And when we say the number um, positives are greater than negatives, again, make sure that you remember that symbol means greater than. Zero is neither positive nor negative. Zero is the middle. It is the starting point. And finally, negative numbers are always smaller than positive numbers. Let's think about some zero pairs. The integer is going to be um, 4, negative 2, and let's use 1. When I think of the opposite number, that's the number that I have to add to my integer in order to get 0. So 4 plus negative 4 is going to give me 0. Negative 2 plus 2 would give me 0. And 1 plus negative 1 would give me 0. The word absolute value we have not defined, so let's do that. The absolute value is how far a number is from 0. And it's important to note that subtraction, I'm sorry, the distance between two rational numbers on the number line is the absolute value of their distance. So again, the distance between two numbers
on the number line. is the absolute value of their difference. The important information there is that it's how far a number is from zero. And it's the distance. This is important because distance, how far you travel, cannot be a negative number. So if my integer is 4, it is 4 spaces away from 0. If my integer is negative 2, it is 2 spaces away from 0. And if my integer is 1, it's 1 space away from 0. The pattern here being that absolute value is always positive. The only exception is that if my integer was 0, it is 0 distance away from 0. One more definition for today is the additive inverse. The additive inverse is how far, or is the opposite of a number, and it's added to the additive inverse is equal to zero. So the opposite of a number the opposite of a numbers. A number, sorry, the opposite of a number. So a number added to its additive inverse equals zero. And subtraction of rational numbers is the same as adding the additive inverse. That's a key point um, because if you have an additive inverse to a number and you add it, it's the same as when you subtract um, an example. And we'll talk a lot about that in the very near future. So as you look at your notes, you should have completed these two thorough definitions in addition to all the work on your interactive foldable. Um, in my notes, I did create a number line across the front of my foldable just to give it a little more um, information for me to work with, but that's definitely not necessary. Make sure that you're including your what I learned and the proof. There's a few questions here for you to work on today. What is the additive inverse of 21 and the absolute value? What is the additive inverse of negative 7 and the absolute value? And what is the additive inverse of 0 and what is its absolute value? Those questions should be answered in the proof section of your notebook.